Hey people, John here from Fast Films, and today we're going through a 1997 action movie called Con Air. The movie begins with a team of rangers being honorably discharged from the army. Amongst these rangers is Army Ranger Sergeant and combat veteran Cameron Poe as he returns home to his pregnant wife Trisha. He meets Trisha at the bar where she works and they are teased by a drunk customer. Trisha convinces him to ignore the drunk guy and he listens to her. Poe and Trisha then head to their car in the rain, but they are attacked by the drunk guy and two of his friends. Poe beats them up, but accidentally takes one of them out. Later on, Poe pleads guilty to the crime and is given a 10-year prison sentence. While in prison, he continues to write letters to Trisha and agonizes over not being able to see his newborn daughter grow up. He also receives letters from his daughter who is now grown and has started first grade. He also writes back to her. Eight years later, Poe is paroled and boards a flight to Alabama on a Fairchild C-123 provider known as the Jailbird, a converted j prison transport plane. Accompanying him is his diabetic cellmate, Mike Baby O. Odell, who is getting transferred to a new prison. In the next scene, a prison officer announces to his team that most of the inmates boarding the flight are being transferred to a supermax prison and also tells them that they are some of the most dangerous criminals. The flight is overseen by U.S. Marshal Vince Larkin, who is approached by DEA agents Duncan Malloy and Willie Sims. The latter plans to go undercover to get information from drug kingpin Francisco Sindino. Malloy tells Vince that this is their last chance to get information on Sindino before he is finally handed over to the FBI. Vince informs them that Sindino will be picked up en route and Willie has just two hours to retrieve whatever information he needs. Vince tells them that Willie will not be allowed to carry weapons onto the plane, and he hands over his gun. Vince gives them a roll call of all the prisoners being transported. They include mass murderer Willie Billy Bedlam Bedford, serial terminator John Johnny 23 Baca, black gorilla member Nathan Diamond Dog Jones, and professional criminal Cyrus the Virus Grissom. The prisoners are searched and loaded on the plane. Malloy sneaks Willie back his gun before he gets on the plane. As the plane begins to prepare for takeoff, some of the inmates, including Cyrus, begin to remove safety pins carefully inserted into their palm. They use them to take off their handcuffs. After taking off, inmate Joe Pinball Parker sets another prisoner on fire using smuggled kerosene as a distraction and setting free Johnny 23. A riot is incited on the plane, causing some of the prisoners and guards to lose their lives. Pinball releases Cyrus and he takes out one of the pilots. He then instructs the remaining pilot to radio that everything is okay on the flight. Cyrus takes over the plane, and all the prisoners are uncuffed, including Poe. Poe prevents Baca from assaulting a female guard named Sally and beats him up. Cyrus informs the other prisoners that the plan is to land the plane at Carson Airport as scheduled, pick up and transfer other prisoners, and then fly to a non-extradition country. Willie blows his cover and takes one of the prisoners hostage in order to retake control of the plane. Poe tries to convince Willie to put down his gun, but Willie gets distracted by a prisoner who sneaks up on him. He takes out the prisoner, but Cyrus takes him out and takes the gun. Up next, Pinball tells Cyrus that they do not have enough white men on the plane to make the prisoner exchange at Carson City. He asks for volunteers, and Poe volunteers to go, hoping to use the opportunity to scream for help. Back at the prison in California, the guards ransack the rooms of the transported prisoner and one of the guards discovers something unusual on the walls of the cell. Back on the plane, Poe changes his mind about being dropped off at Carson City after discovering that the prisoner's mouths will be gagged to prevent them from screaming to the guards. Meanwhile, the guards in California discover the plane's blueprint on Cyrus's cell just as the plane arrives at Carson City. Next, the inmate exchange commences, with the ground crew unaware that prisoners are disguised as guards and the real guards forcibly disguised as inmates and gagged to prevent them from revealing the scheme. Amongst the new passengers are Sindino, Pilot Earl Swamp Thing Williams, and serial killer Garland Green. The authorities discover the hijacking upon finding evidence in Cyrus' cell. Cyrus also plants explosives in a box which he labels Do Not Open. Despite Vince's instruction to the guards not to touch anything, one of the guards opens the box and the room explodes. The guards at Carson City find a tape recorder planted by Poe on one of the disguised guards. They try to stop the plane from taking off, but they are unsuccessful. 
Meanwhile, Pinball disposes of the plane's transponder on another plane, but gets taken out trying to reboard during takeoff. In the next scene, Vince and Malloy get into an argument and Vince tells him that Willie compromised the mission by bringing a weapon onto the flight. They follow the transponder but are not aware that it has been switched with another plane. Vince radios the plane transporting the prisoners and Cyrus asks him how they discovered his plan. He tells him that a guard discovered the blueprint in his cell. Vince tries to get information on where the plane is heading but Cyrus refuses to tell him. In another scene, Poe's wife and daughter are informed about the incident on the plane by a U.S. Marshal and are transported to Vince's office. Vince believes that Poe can be their ally on the plane. Malloy suggests that they shoot down the plane. Vince refuses to agree to this, but Malloy tells him that he has the power to make the decision since the DEA agent was taken out on the plane. Malloy gets on an attack helicopter while Vince chases him down and tells them that they are making a mistake. The inmates plan to land at Lerner Airfield, an abandoned desert airstrip, and transfer onto another plane owned by Sandino and his cartel. Poe finds Pinball's corpse trapped in the landing gear, writing a message to Vince on the body before throwing it out. Pinball's body lands on a car in the streets and causes an accident. One of the prisoners, named Bedford, becomes suspicious of Poe and tells him that he has never seen him on his block. Poe convinces him that there were over 150 prisoners on the North Block, and it's impossible to know all of them. Poe's wife and daughter, Casey, arrive at Vince's office, and he tells them that he's doing everything he can to get the plane down safely. Vince asks her why she thinks Poe refused to get off the plane when he had the chance. She tells him that Poe has been waiting for so long to get back to his family and tells Vince that Poe had good reason to stay on the plane. Vince learns of the news of Pinball's body falling off the plane and figures out that the plane Willie was chasing was the wrong one. He heads to Lerner after contacting the National Guard. Bedford, while raiding the cargo, discovers Poe's identity when reading his parole letter and finding the toy bunny Poe intends to give to his daughter. Poe finds him in the cargo and they get into a fight in which Bedford gets taken out. Malloy eventually discovers that they are chasing the wrong plane and they head to Lerner. Vince arrives at Lerner and finds the control tower operator taken out. The prisoner's plane lands disastrously at Lerner, but they see no sign of the transferred aircraft. Poe prevents them from eliminating the rest of the guards by warning Cyrus of Sandino's past acts of deceit and betrayal. He tells him that they would still need the guards as hostages. Cyrus takes Poe's advice and orders the others to fuel up the plane and get it ready for takeoff. As the other inmates prepare the plane, Johnny-23 spots a National Guard convoy approaching and gives the alarm. Poe leaves to find Baby-O a syringe and give him insulin, but is grabbed by Sandino's men. Vince comes in, and together they take out Sandino's men. They discover Sandino planning to escape on a hidden private jet, which Vince sabotages. Cyrus executes Sandino by igniting the plane's fuel. Meanwhile, Green encounters a little girl, but resists the urge to take her out. The inmates find cases of fully loaded shotguns and rifles in the cargo hold and prepare an ambush. Poe, aided by an old man hiding under a truck, goes to look for a syringe in a fire truck. As the National Guard arrives, the inmates launch an assault, resulting in a number of casualties. Vince defends the surviving troops using a bulldozer as a makeshift shield. Poe arrives just in time to stop Baca from violating Sally. He beats him up and handcuffs him. The surviving inmates flee back onto the plane and take flight. Poe's identity is revealed when Bedford's body is found. Cyrus tries to flush out the traitor in their midst by attempting to take out Sally, but Baby O tells him that he is the traitor. Cyrus shoots Baby O in the stomach and reads from Poe's daughter's letter. Vince and Malloy arrive in attack helicopters damaging the plane's fuel tank. Poe takes down some of the prisoners and regains control of the plane. He orders Earl to land the plane at McCarran International Airport, but due to one of the engines being blown out, Earl has to land it on the Las Vegas Strip, causing mass destruction and the death of some of the prisoners. Poe gets Baby O medical help and Sally also thanks him for saving her. Vince and Poe spot Cyrus escaping with three on a fire truck and they both go after them on police motorcycles. The high-speed chase leads to a lot of casualties. Poe gets on the fire truck and fights with Cyrus. Vince also gets on the fire truck and attacks Earl with a water hose that causes him to lose control of the truck and crash into a bunch of cars that take out Earl and sends Cyrus flying into a construction site where he gets crushed. Vincent and Malloy settle their grievances after Vince apologizes for wrecking his car. 
Poe reunites with his wife and meets his daughter for the first time and gives her the bunny. The movie ends with serial killer Garland Green being the only prisoner who escapes. He is seen in a casino. Thanks for watching, guys.